Hi everyone, I am back with another tutorial using my stock images and showing you different ideas on how you can use them for your own business, blog, or just even personal use. So uh, this is my recently released travel stock coastal collection. It's a bundle of nine images taken from Rockport, New England. It's very New England, it's very bold and vibrant, but also um, got some great pastels that are built into there, which are beautiful. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to use Canva to basically add some text and graphics to one of these images. And I'm going to show you what we're going to aim for first. So we're going to aim for this. So we're going to go with a lobster cookout. And this could be used for, you know, an invite, a party invite, or something, maybe you're running an event, or a sale, um, just something fun, you know, using um, part of the lobster trap buoys here, and um, yeah, just creating a nice clean layout. So we're going to start from fresh, we're going to go ahead and go to the home page, you have to log in, and then you'd be brought here. And we're going to go ahead and click on Facebook post, because it's going to be a Facebook post. And to get your own image into Canva, you're going to look at this left hand side of the screen and you're going to go to uploads. Now, since I've used Canva before and I've uploaded several images, I already have a plethora of images here. And we're going to go ahead and just click the one that we want, but you would end up having to upload your, your image first. So just do that. And then it would be loaded here like this. So now we're going to click and drag that right over there and to get it positioned right for Facebook we're just gonna have to scale this up a bit and what I want to try and do is use the negative space that's on the left hand side of this image so we're just gonna sort of line it right up to the edge of that image and it kind of snaps to it so it's actually really easy and then what we're gonna do um, is start working on the graphics and I think what the easiest part to do or the easiest way to do this is first to add that square. Remember we had that, you know, this opaque, um, slightly opaque uh, square rectangle graphic shape, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go ahead and do that by adding in an element. And there's a number of elements here that you can add. Um, you know, there's there's actually quite a few and, and I haven't even used all of them ever before, but um, we're going to stick here with our shapes for now and we're going to grab the square and it's just going to, you can click on it or drag it. It's just going to sort of add one right there and we're going to uh, position it to where we want. We're going to bring this over a little bit and bring this down and remember we wanted that white. So up here on the left hand side we're going to click on the white and then we're going to um, work on the changing the transparency. So we'll bring that down to maybe around 82. And we can always come back and adjust this after we add our text. So if we add our text and we decide it's not, you can't really see it that well, or if it's difficult to see, so um, we, can, we can come back and adjust that. So that's looking good. Now we're gonna add our text. So we're gonna go back to the left-hand side. We're gonna use text. And I really enjoyed that font that I picked out previously, but there's so many different great font combinations have fun with it, um, you know, but keep in mind the mood that you're trying to um, achieve with your graphics. So if you're wanting something a little more serious, you know, maybe this is a, a great font. You know, it's very clean and simple, but if you're looking for something fun and bubbly, notice how this font sort of conveys that. Um, it's much different, right? These two fonts are so different. So keep that in mind as you're conveying the mood of the graphic, whether it's serious, fun, bubbly, um, you know, fonts can really elicit emotion and feelings, so keep that in mind. All right, so this is the setup that I had originally, and it was actually for a Thanksgiving dinner, um, but all of it is like pretty much laid out perfectly. Um, one thing I do notice immediately is we're gonna have to adjust our little white background, so all you do is click on it, and we're just gonna pull that over just like that. And we're going to actually, we're going to click on this entire thing and notice how it's all grouped together. So they call that a group. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna ungroup it. And now we can sort of manipulate and edit all the individual pieces. And we're gonna start here with going to lobster cook out. 
And again, because it's a little bit bigger words, we're gonna have to drag this over. And now I wanna recenter that. And again, Canva does a great job with helping you with alignment and centering. So that's looking good. Um, obviously we don't want it in November, but let's say June 19th, 2019, dinner starts at six. Um, I am gonna pull this over a little bit now. And let's say it's one, two, three, Main Street, Austin. More information, you can just change all of this to whatever you need, it's super easy. I'll just put in Jesse for now. And then again, I wanna move this over and have that aligned with that text up there and see how it just like snaps over, it's so easy. And I think I'm gonna bring these down it in a little bit. And notice how our our text is now going over the, the white box that we created. So I'm just going to bring that over even more. All right. So this is pretty much it. It's super easy. Um, and I think the transparency looks good. I think um, I wouldn't really add anything else to this. So what we did first, just to recap, we brought in the image using our uploads. Then we built our white text or our white um, rectangle. We adjusted the, the position and then we adjusted the transparency. And then we added our text using a pre-made text combo. Um, another text that I guess I would have considered for something like this um let's see there was another one. Oh, this one it's time to celebrate i kind of like that you could use that and say maybe um you're invited to lobster cookout and then have the details underneath um so just have fun don't be afraid to experiment and then the next thing to do is really just to download the image click download and you will be all set and then you can upload it to facebook or i mean this one was made for facebook so it's perfect you wouldn't necessarily want to use it for instagram because it's not the right ratio the aspect ratio but um but you're essentially good to go all right guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions let me know if you want to purchase this image it's part of the travel stock coastal collection available on my website and you get nine images and they're shown here um beautiful coastal images from rockport new england all right, that's it guys. Talk to you later.